Hey, good morning, guys. So, tip for today's session, we're gonna have um, what is today's schedule? Is we're gonna have topics about augmented reality with single target to multiple target. And as usual, if you get an equation, you can let us know through the column chat, or you can use a feature. Um, you can use raise hand feature. Sorry. Uh, that's it. If you want to access the material you can go to creativecam.cmeo.org so for today's presentation so we got alicia and naomi so already so please uh vocational high school emmanuel the time is yours Wait, wait a second. Going, I am going to review the material in the previous session. And first of all, for making the single and multiple target, we need to upload first the image or the marker. First, we need to visit this link developer.tutorial.com. And then here, if you already have the account, you can click login and login to your account. If you don't have, you can register. And because I already have it, I will login to my account. Before we start making or uploading the image, we need to get the license license key. First, click on the desktop here, and then click on the license manager. Click and then click on the get desktop key. Click the app, and you can add it whatever you want. Example, testing, and then just continue. And then the next one is opening the license that we have made. And then copy it. You can copy it to the notepad so that you can just have it in the initialization. And then the next one is clicking on the target manager. Here is the option for us to uh, to upload the image, just click the add data page, and then the name will be like typing it as testing, and just click the device testing. After you have made the data page or the target manager, just click it once. And then here we will be uploading the image. Just click the app target and we only choose single, but if you want to choose the other one, you can try it by yourself. And then the file, browse it, where do you put the image? For example, we will use this one, this image. For the width, it is up to you whether you want it to be 1, 2, or 3, or more, but I will prefer just 10. And then the name just to list it by the default, and then click Add. Okay. 
As you can see, here is the image, and because it is only three, we won't be using it. Why? Because sometimes that uh, the image that is really star only will not get detected easily. So when we scan the poster that we made or the image, it will not see it very properly. So in order for that, we will choose the image that has five. Uh, five star. Here, as you can see, this is five stars. Actually, for the minimum requirement for the star, uh, I recommend you to use the image with one star. Because the three stars, uh, these three stars do not work in the room. And then after we have made the, we have uploaded, just go to the Unity, make the new project, and then after that, there will be this two property, and then you just click the lab. And then in here, you need to import first the Unity package that you have downloaded. And then just click import. You can load the package at the downloads. And then choose this, this one. Why do we need to upload this package? Because without this package, we will be not able to use the tutorial. That's why we need to import first the tutorial in order so that the Unity can make the tutorial working. Then after we have imported, we will be finding at the tutorial here, tutorial folder and then the three steps, click it once and then drag the AI camera here. This AI camera is one of the camera that is needed so that our webcam can get the image or working it can work properly. And then after we have uh, after you have already set all the things like that, you need to go again to the database. This one that we have made, and then we click download on this one, and then click download, and then just choose the Unity editor. Mm 
this is the file that we have done and then in the image we just import it onto the game. And then after that, we need to create uh, MP, and we can rename it as image target. And then for this, And for the image target, you also can import it by from the preset and select the end of to the here. And then when you insert when you insert the image, the marker, first you need to reset the image. And then you can Insert it to the image target. It will automatically and then how to import object blender to the blender is to of you only need drag and drop to the Unity. For the example is and put it in the asset. But before you insert the Blender object, uh, you need to open the Fukuoka configuration to start the license key. Just copy and paste it. Just paste it and select the data set this it and insert the gender object. Before that we need to edit the stuff as well. Why is So yeah, before that, in the image target, so the data you must sell the image target. And in here, you must sell the data and the image target. The marker image that we have already inserted. And then you only drag and drop to the image target. And I'll put this count in here. Okay. And then this is your single target. But in this object, I already did the animation to the vendor. So to execute it on the Unity, first you must Select the 
is blender and mixes the animation. And usually we use the default text, but in my object, I will use the, the armature section. And don't forget to select the lock file and apply it. So it's still something like this. Okay, Animation. Um, to make the animation, we need to create an animation control controller. Um, open it and in this, you only need to take the avatar, put it here and okay. To so insert the animator into the object, select the object, and then in the in this animator. Insert this. So when you select this, then you like this. So this is the animation for the unity. And the next one is the multiple target. Here, because we uh, have the image, but it is in different database, that's why we will be downloading another database. And in here, I will show you how to import more than one database, because uh, that's why we have just import this one, and then we will be importing this one. And if you are only want to select one picture to be downloaded, you just click one, one item and then just download the database. Choose the Unity Editor and then click download. Save file. After you have finished, just Import it once again. Import plastic, the composition, and then choose the one that we have just downloaded. The other is the Unity package. And then just click import. And then here we will have to the base. Let me just click again the preset. 
and then image target. And here the database will be two. And here you just take the alarm music and then the image target comes up. And then here we will be resetting again the image. Um. And then here just click again the cut and then drag it here. Here we will be have we have things to image and then you can just drag the object for the sample we will just use the ball the ball that we have making in the next uh, phase version just import it once more And then just drag it here. Adjust, adjust the position where you want to adjust it. And then here you will be trying to scan the object. And so I think you need to cast the light at the back so that the image can not be scanned properly. I feel like this cannot work because the low resolution of the camera and also can be because of the image. But actually if you already have done it like this, it can show.
So we will be uploading the new image target because the target does not come up this time. And here we will use the picture in the last section, the mouse got on, and then just click it for downloading it. Just import it once more. And then we will be dragging again in the opposite. You can just scale it here into 0 0.1 if you don't want it to be easier. And it is supposed to be working. So I did this because we haven't set the the option here. You can just play it as a camera and then open for configuration. Here you just need to click or activate the dash page. That's why it is uh, not set, so you need to set it manually. Just click activate and then each of the sections. And then after that you can scan more than one image. For example, if you want to scan this, it will be showing this object for the ball, and then for the other one is the butterfly. So that's the multiple project. Actually, if we can, uh, if we want to use the image specifically, the Alka Post one, it can. Just we need to 
as he said, as what we have already done just now. And here I will be inserting it again once more so that we can see whether it works or not. Just click this up and then click again the image target. And after that we can select the database. And then the object. After that, go to the asset and then the editor for it, and then we just write it and then um, fix okay, just set the picture and then just write it. It can already show it here because we have it set it in the beginning. We will be using the one for the object. And then just that it. Here, as you can see, it can also send this picture and showing the object. So, I think that's all for our presentation. Mr. Aji, do you have anything to add for us? Are you want to say? Okay. Maybe while while waiting the questions, uh, do we have participants? Oh no, we don't have participants. Okay. So, um, are you already explained explained about um, simultaneously? What is that? Simultaneous simultaneously detected object. Have Have you explained that or not? Uh, Max, uh, so so there's a thing in for yeah that let you um, detect detecting more than one object simultaneously. Hmm. Jadi kamu bisa bahasa Indonesia ya. Uh, jadi di Fovere itu bisa multiple object plus bisa multiple object uh, secara bersamaan. Jadi okay. kalau ngedeteksi beberapa tracker, semuanya ada tiga tracker, semuanya keluar objeknya sudah kamu jelaskan tadi. Sudah, tadi sudah dijelaskan. Tadi, tadi udah sih langsung tipe ya kan? Ah, oke. Oke. Hmm. 
Um, I think that's all for me. Uh, what else? Nope, yep, that's all for me. And, oh, we can't find this here. So if you got another question, just let us know through the column chat. For so if you got no question, we're gonna wrap up today's session and we're gonna move to the final assignment for the next meeting or sessions. I think it's on fourth on of June. So and do we have another question? So since we got no questions here, Alicia, so thank you for today. Um, I hope we can see you soon, but we, we already finished the material, so this, okay, so we got like one more sessions, right, on Monday. Okay, explained, explaining about the final assignment. So, since guys for today and for you participants that you want to access the material and or, or, or maybe video that we recorded every um, i mean each uh, video conference that we held you can go to the creativecamp.sumio.org to access that 